So now in this video, for whatever reason, I want to use 12 volts to produce some light. And I'm going to use three series LEDs. If they're red, they're going to drop about 6 volts altogether. If they're green or blue, they're going to drop about 9 volts altogether. But in any case, three of them in series, 12 volts will work really well. They're going to drop enough voltage where we can use a 470 ohm resistor perfectly fine. So now, the way we're going to control this though, is with an inverter with Schmidt trigger output. So we're going to use the 7414, I'm going to use the high speed CMOS version right there. The thing with this is, we can only power this integrated circuit with 5 volts. So, to do that, we are going to use a 7805. It's a linear voltage regulator. That means that uh, you put in a higher voltage, at least a couple of volts above uh, 5 volts. So we're just going to put it to the same supply as the load, 12 volts, and it outputs 5 volts when you have the uh, ground pin to ground right there. And uh, so it can tell there's a 5 volt difference there. The capacitors help smooth it. I'm actually using different value capacitors, but uh, 0.33 microfarad is uh, recommended across the supply right there. And then 0.1 microfarad, according to the data sheet, is recommended from the output to ground. But I'm going higher with those value resistors, which should be uh, fine. But in uh, any case, that'll output 5 to power the integrated circuit. So the integrated circuit has 6 of these on them. We're just going to use 1. We're going to also attach to the 5 volts there a light-dependent resistor. So this is important. The uh, inputs here cannot have, none of the pins actually, for the uh, 7414 can have 12 volts applied to them, you will fry them. In fact, I accidentally fried them while I was getting ready, fried one of these while I was getting ready to uh, make this video. And uh, so I'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to the board. But in case we have the light dependent resistor, when it gets bright, that's gonna raise the voltage to five volts. And uh, so we'll have a high input, it's a voltage divider here, that'll get to almost zero ohms of resistance, so we'll get about five volts. So high input, there'll be a low output. That is what the inverter or NOT gate is. If it gets dark enough, it can get up to the millions of ohms. And uh, so that's a lot more resistance than what we have here. So that'll give us a low input right there. And we'll have a high output because it's a NOT gate. You get the opposite. So one thing is we cannot power, as I said before, we're only dealing with five volts and you're gonna lose some of that voltage anyways, trying to power anything. And so we're just gonna send that signal to a transistor. So we can give a weak signal. It can be a lower voltage and much less current than what the load needs. That's enough to get the transistor conducting fully. It should be fully, I didn't test it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's conducting fully. But in uh, any case, it's conducting a whole lot more than the output could here. So let's assume it's gonna conduct uh, fully. Small current going base to emitter is going to just let current flow from collector to emitter pretty much fully. Our load here will limit the current. And so on the breadboard, I already have the 7805 integrated circuit and the 7414 integrated circuit on the board. So this outputs five volts when you apply higher than five volts across it. So the left pin here, the input is the top pin right there because of the way that we have this turn. Then we have the ground pin in the middle also be aware that the ground is also that tab. There's a direct connection right there. And then we have the uh, output where we will get our five volts. So we'll have 12 volts here and uh, five volts down there going to the integrated circuit. Pretty straightforward. I'm using 0.47 microfarad capacitors. So one across the input to ground right there, which is the power supply. And then one from the uh, ground pin. So that uh, gray jumper there to the output right there. That helps smooth the uh, supply and then that one helps smooth the output. And so that brings us to the integrated circuit, the 7414, 74HC14 to be uh, specific for the one that I'm using and we need to power that. So we got VCC which is actually the five volts that we have right there from the uh, 7805. And then we have ground there to uh, power that. So we got a five volt difference across there. Now we have inputs where there's an A right there. We don't want to leave those floating. This is the 
uh, not gate we're going to use the inverter at the bottom so there's nothing to that right now but you can see what I did here is I connected these two inputs directly to ground which is what I should have done on the other side as well but uh, in any case I got them uh, connected to ground and then those inputs there I have them to the positive supply which is 5 volts we don't want to put it to the uh, 12 volt supply when we attach them that's why I have these jumpers that's what I attached I attached the uh, yellow ones on that side and the orange ones on that side and I instantly fried it once I turned the power on but in case we have uh, 5 volts there going to that input to that input and then to that input right there 5 volts will be just fine it'll prevent them from doing anything same with 0 volts on that side and now we have our voltage divider which is light dependent so that's going to the 5 volt supply remember that's all we can give the input is 5 volts that's light dependent and then we have our fixed value going to ground so when it's bright enough we'll have almost 5 volts enough to tell it it's a high input and then if it gets dark enough there'll be tons of resistance here relatively low there it'll be close enough to 0 volts to tell it that it is a low input down here we have our NPN bipolar junction transistor, the 2N3904. I generally assume you already know how they work, so I'm going to run through it quickly. The uh, resistor coming to the base, the middle pin, 2N3904. We've got emitter, base, collector right there. A small current from base to emitter will be enough to allow this to conduct fully. And finally we add the LEDs with protective resistor. Remember they have to be inserted in the right way. Short lead the cathode, long lead the anode cathode anode cathode anode and 470 ohm resistor to protect from 12 volts when the transistor is on and finally we test it I moved a component so they're not cluttering each other anymore but otherwise it's wired exactly the same we got 12 volts the output is off though right now I hit the power button that puts the output on and uh, so we got the alligator clips there the board is powered right now the LEDs are off if I cover this or otherwise made it darker then at some point the LEDs turn on when it gets dark enough so bright enough we have a high input basically 5 volts right there so a low output ground to ground and uh, now we have a low input coming uh, almost 0 volts and uh, so a high output as close to 5 volts as it can go and then that heads to ground and allows a lot more current to flow through the transistor and uh, voltage as well so in any case that's it hope you enjoyed Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have a link down in the description. But just watch as many videos as you can. Helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.